I don't really have a pregame ritual in terms of um, superstitious things. Um, it's mostly just making sure I'm prepared for the game and that I'm well fed the day before the, in the day of the game, uh, making sure that I'm mentally prepared for the game. So I'm doing my visualizations and um, just going through stuff that we will see in the game. And then um, I get here to the gym and I'm physically preparing for the game. Um, and that's about it. I don't think there's any one athlete that inspires me the most. I think I get a lot of inspiration from every athlete I come across and every athlete I read about and all professional athletes really. Um, but I'm especially inspired by the athletes I'm in contact with every day, which are my teammates. Um, just seeing how they conduct themselves as athletes and um, what they're doing to prepare themselves both on and off the court. Um, and also just seeing um, how they handle um, themselves as humans as well and with their families and with everything that's going on in their personal lives and all that stuff. And so um, they make me a better person and a better basketball player. I think I was watching LeBron James's show on um, HBO called The Shop and Elena Deladon was on there and she was talking about mental fortitude and um, the work she does with her sports psychologist um, and she said something that really stuck with me. It was nobody talks to you more in a day than yourself and um, like obviously you know that every day you're talking to yourself but when she put it that way it was like wow like that's a real gem what you think you become and so if you speak negatively to yourself and you have that negative self-talk that's what you're going to think of yourself and I don't think I have that many passions and interests outside of basketball really um, I read a lot so whether I'm reading articles on my phone or whether I'm reading a book on my phone or just physically reading a book um, just constantly filling my brain with knowledge really um, reading a bunch and watching Netflix shows um, yeah just experiencing life there's just so many things that have been great just from the professionalism of the club, um, from the front office, down to the coaches, down to my teammates, has been phenomenal. Um, I think the competition in the whole league has been great. Um, and it's just been a great experience for me to come over here to Australia and be able to become a better basketball player, but also to see the world and experience something different than what I did in America. I think in terms of the scheduling is different. Um, just how many games we're playing, when we're practicing, things like that. Um, but also just like different philosophies, I think are different um, a little bit. At the end of the day, basketball is basketball, but still it's like just what they kind of believe in, in terms of going to the gym, getting your weight lifting sessions in, and um, just kind of having a different coach and guy and seeing what he likes in players and trying to adjust to that. Um, but it's all been fun.